Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're taking a look at an interesting deck, but um, it's going to be one that I actually really want to try out, and this is going to be Split Greninja, um, Greninja GX with Greninja Break. How does this deck work? Well, it's pretty simple, it's, your, it's a Greninja deck, obviously, and it uses a lot of weird kind of tactics to kind of do the job, so... Greninja GX, as we know, is actually a really underrated card that's surprisingly doing decent for itself at the moment, right? So Greninja has this ability, Shuriken Flurry, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, put 3 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. A very strong ability. 30 damage can make all the difference in damage numbers. Now we also have, of course, the Frogadier that goes into Greninja. Not that one, this one, yep, this one, Gale Shuriken. But... We actually play this a different route than just evolving, you know, going Froki, Frogadier, Greninja, which can be slow and also we can't really afford. So we're actually going to be playing a Water Duplicates sort of build. So we already know Water Duplicates is one of the strong points of a Greninja deck. Now we don't see it with Greninja GX, but we're going to try it with Greninja GX. So we Water Duplicates, search your deck for three Frogadiers, put them on your bench. Yes, this does mean we are not going to be using Gale Shuriken all that much when we do Water Duplicates. But we will get into why that's not a bad thing in a minute. So we do that, we set up, and then from there we can put down a bunch of Greninjas. We can go Greninja GX, we can put down Greninja with Shadow Stitching, we can put down Greninja Break into the um, Shadow Stitching Greninja. And it's a little bit faster to get set up that way, and uh, we do have a couple cards to help us get there, because I feel like this deck is not quick enough to be able to work without a certain supporter card. That there is a reason why I am playing in this deck, you know, it's a card you don't really see much with Greninja anymore, but I feel like in this type of a deck, you might need it, so we're going to look at that in just a minute. Now, this deck has some weird matchups, um, but it's fun to play, right? Greninja GX, you know, can take one-shots with Hay Slash um, with the right numbers. You can also kind of make a healing loop with this card. This thing's got 230 HP, it's very hard to knock out Greninja GX in one hit, unless you're using Glissapod or Tapu Bulu. So what you can do is they hit you hard, and then you just hey slash put the Greninja back into your deck and go from there. And we have other ways to get numbers on the board. Of course, you play Greninja Break, Giant Water Shuriken. Once you're in turn, before you attack, this Pokemon is active. Put you may discard water from your hand and put six damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That that's just insanely powerful. One of the best abilities in the game. We Gale we Giant Water Shuriken. Comboed with Shuriken Flurry, we can put 9 damage on the board in a single turn. That's insane. And um, that's just nuts. And then Hay Slash can knock stuff out. It's great against Zoark. It's just a great ability um, to have comboed with you. We have Greninja here with Moonlight Slash and Shadow Stitching. Shadow Stitching is very crucial when you're playing against Malamar. Malamar struggles against Greninja for many reasons, for starters. They rely heavily on their ability, so if you spam Shadow Stitching, then they won't have their Malamar's ability. Dawn Wings can only do 120 to a Greninja at max. Necrozma GX and Ultra Necrozma can be an issue, but again, Shadow Stitching, just blocking Malamar is just so good. And um, when we have a 170 HP Pokemon and a Giant Water Shuriken, I mean, Shadow Stitching is doing quite a bit. And combo that with Shuriken Flurries and Shadowy Hunter, you have a very crazy combo, and a deadly combo at that. It's just, can this deck work out? I feel like there's a couple cards we are going to run to make it work. Um, I am playing a Latios in here. This deck could have an awkward Buzzle matchup because Buzzle can do good numbers against your Frogadiers and your Frokies. And, um, so I feel like Latios just nice to have. Mewtwo isn't terrible either, but I like having this early game spread attack, um, especially because you can do good damage. Latios is just popping up right now. It's just one of the best tech cards in general. Two Lele's with Wonder Tag. We are playing heavy DCEs, so Lele can actually abuse DC. Comboed with Giant Water Shuriken and Shuriken Flurry, Lele can actually do decent numbers, so I'm not actually that mad about having Lele be backup. The only other Pokemon that I really want to play in here is either some sort of line of artillery or maybe something like an Orangaroo. I feel like this deck does need some draw support, but we can try and make it do without. And of course, we got our four Frokies. I'm just going to play a split, 70 HP, and the Bubble one. Bubble is still really good to have. And again, we are playing a split of Water Duplicates and Gale Shuriken. And we got two Greninjas, two Greninja Breaks, and two Greninja GXs. So those are all the Greninja lineups. We'll go to the items now. We got two Field Blowers, very ability heavy Reliant. And um, also, Parallel City is one of those cards that really hates this deck because it will really hurt us. One Stretcher, of course, and we play a Rod of, like, the split Rod gets energy back, helps out 
Greninja JX and also can help out Greninja Brace for its ability. Um, we got a Timer Ball. I could play Evo Soda, but then we miss out on using Greninja GX, which I don't like actually, so I feel fine with playing Timer Ball. Sucks we have to play it, not Dive Ball, but whatever. Four Ultra Balls to be able to search for your Pokemon. Three Brooklyn Hills, great stadium to start with, and great counter stadium to Parallel City. We got three Cynthias, two Guzmas. We don't really need to play Heavy Guzmas because we have a lot of sniping in this deck. Um, we got four ends for draw. Very. This is one of those like slower sort of decks, so four ends is great to set up with. Um, yes, I know I don't have four ends. <laughs> Full four ends. We got two Sycamores for draw. Two Wallies. This is one of the most crucial cards. I feel like if you can pull off a turn one Water Duplicates, if you get to do the attack first, this can actually be a really good way to set up your board state. Because then on your next turn, you don't have to worry about you know, going, oh, I, you gotta put another Frogadier down, because I just got Buzzwell donked, and now I gotta put another Frogadier down, and then I get to do Water Duplicates, but I'm a turn behind. This actually lets you catch up a bit, and I actually like Wally. -E. you can also use this with, like, Greninja, you can go Greninja to Greninja Break in one turn, I just think it's a great card to have in this deck, I, I really like Wally. -E. Um, we got three Choice Bands, of course, at extra 30, we are playing two Float Stones, just for your trade is important, we got four DCEs, seven Basic Water Energies, and two splash energies but yeah this is my split greninja build it's a very cool way to play greninja so we're gonna try it on pc joe scene action let's see how this deck does for us all right guys here we go let's go find some matches with our deck here on pc joe see how we fare against some of the other decks let's see if we can get some good games our first match is up against buzzwool so here we go we are playing against the matchup that Certainly, I don't think we'll go very well. I think Buzz will definitely might be one of your worst matchups, apart from like Galissapod, maybe. Um, Rip, we don't have a turn one Wally, which is a bit of annoying. I mean, we're not going, I think we're going first, so it doesn't matter, but when you're playing against Buzzwool, you can't really afford to have a 70 HP Pokemon in the active, and um, not looking very forward to this match at all. We have a pretty interesting hand. We can end my opponent to try and get us a new hand. We desperately are going to need to try and get another Froakie down at the very least. Hopefully we can maybe just draw into like Wally. Alright, we got another Froakie, so we do have our second Froakie. My opponent actually starts with Soda Wood. So I'm actually just going to attach and end here. Um, see what we can get. We got a third Froakie. Okay, down my opponent plays Parallel City. So I'm fine with playing a second Froakie down. We probably will get knocked out next turn if he gets a Floatstone, Strong Energy, Diancie. Which could easily happen, but we do have a... Don't tell me this dude just straight up had Floatstone, Strong Energy, Buzzwool in his hand. That is pretty ridiculous. Um, we see an Ultra Ball game rid of Sycamore and an Energy. For Tapu Lele. Okay, so I guess he's going to Guzma up my Froki with 60 HP. Which I'm fine with, actually. I don't mind that. Really just tempted to get Lele for Wally here and just put down a um, Frogadier, which I think I'll do. I'll bring up maybe the other Froakie, put the Splash Energy on it, Wally into Frogadier, unless I can draw Frogadier. Um, he's actually not even knocking out my Froakie, he's only doing 50 damage, so... Actually, I don't really know the logic behind this, because he would have two-shotted me and took it two prizes, so I don't mind that. So I think I will just Lele for Wally here, we technically only get to put down two... Frogadiers, which, you know, whatever, but it's fine. We got Splash Energy on. We have two other Frokies in play. It's not that big of an issue. So we'll grab Frogadier. Splash Energy is nice. Um, he did get rid of a Sycamore, so I'm guaranteeing he's got like an N or a Sycamore in his hand already. So we'll just double Frogadier. Wish I had like five Frogadiers and I wouldn't grab the two Gale Shurikens, but it's fine. And uh, we'll be able to set up from there. Now, Frogadier will go down, but we have Splash Energy on it. And we can hopefully try and put some pressure on next turn. So my opponent's just going to Cynthia. He's actually not choosing maybe to even attach this to the Widow, which is interesting. Okay, there's a Brooklyn Hill. And he's going to put Diancie down. So he's now doing 7 damage. And just a Jet Punch. Alright, so no, like, Rock Ruffs, which are good. I'm glad we're not seeing that. Um, the question is, is what do I bring up? Probably just this frog deer, I guess. Now, here's where the problem begins. If we do not find Greninjas, we are going to be in trouble. This deck is really reliant on hitting your Greninjas when you need them. So, we'll Cynthia here, and we whiff 
Greninja, we're not going to be sitting too well. There's Latios. There's a Timer Ball. We'll play the Timer Ball. It's going to be Double Tails, isn't it? Yep, it's going to be Double Tails. That is just amazing. I love it. So we'll, we'll just grab Greninja. It's pretty it's pretty annoying that we um, got Double Tails. We do have to lose our Latios, but again, we have Rod and, and a Super Rod and a Stretcher. So we should be good, but yeah, Timer Ball, you suck. Okay, maybe Evo Soda isn't so bad in this deck. I don't know. It's either you run Evo Soda or you don't play it. I don't know. To be honest, I still like Evo Soda, but at the same time, Timer Ball is better in some situations now. Here's where things get interesting. I don't think he can knock me out this turn. Well, he could take a prize on maybe you or you if he gets like a Guzma, but I mean, he might not be able to knock out my active here, and this is good. I am a little worried about, of course, everyone's favorite GX attack, Dangerous Rogue, but he hasn't even put energy on, so I'm fine. Ooh, Julie Field Blower. I'm actually going to play that, just just so he doesn't have access to an extra Pokemon, I guess. And uh, we can add him to 5, see what we can find. Okay, now that is a good hand. Actually, no, it's not, because we don't have a DC. Well, actually, no, 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 it's not that bad. We can take two prizes this turn, um, which is what we'll do. So we'll Giant Water Shuriken, hit the... Honestly, I think I just softened up the other Buzz Wool. Like, we can take three prizes if we really wanted to. But is it worth it? I think it is. Alright, let's see what we get. Ultra Ball, that's actually not that bad. I think I am actually going to play it here, get another Greninja. We need to try and get as many... Greninja's down as we can. Oh, I forgot our other Greninja prize. Alright, we'll just grab Lele then for next turn. Forgot we had the other Shadow Stitching prize, my bad. I wish I had a Splash Energy on. It's fine though. Uh, how much HP does he have? 80. Okay, so I have to Moonlight Slash him. That's, that's a rip. Do I want to bring the energy back? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but whatever. So we'll knock out this Buzzwool. We take our two prizes. Unfortunately, we weren't able to, like, figure out a way to get four prizes in that one turn so he doesn't get B-String, but it's fine. There's the Greninja. There we go. So, not bad. He's going to end me. I was worried that would happen because I just burned all, almost all my Ultra Balls just to grab Lele. Okay, this could be a bit of an issue if we don't get a supporter, but... Okay, we got an N. We need to find a DC, though. He's actually just jet punching me. Okay, that has to be a misclick. That has to be a misclick. All right, well, and he can see. He misclicked. I bet you, yeah, he must have misclicked there. He probably clicked too fast. That's uh, that's just awesome. But you know what? We showed off the deck beautifully there. We got a good setup. Like, this is the thing of this deck. Like, in theory, the deck has, like, an insane setup. It's just in practice, can you get the setup going? That's the problem. And I do really think we need some sort of draw supporter in here. We didn't really, honestly, we didn't even use Latios last game. And we didn't even get, like, a turn one water duplicate. So it's, like, kind of weird. So maybe the Latios isn't needed. I don't know. We'll, I want to see if we can use Latios at some point. So we'll flip the coin, see what we get. We do win it, which I will definitely take. Um, see so we start with. We do get Froakie. We do have a turn one water duplicates if we really wanted to. So we'll see what we end up drawing. My opponent says, happy face and hello, so he recognized me, so I'll hit him back with a hello, we'll hit him with a heart. Dark energy and rainbow, okay, I'm actually interested as to what this is. Hmm. Could be, be could be in Beast Box, actually. Um, we'll draw an extra card. Ooh, okay, so he's playing Noivern. Okay, so we don't have to worry about, like, a turn two Noivern. Hmm. Okay. This is a little problematic. Um, not going to attach because we can always lose the energy, so I think I just pass. And I think what we can do is we can Ultra Ball away the Greninja and the Frogadier, grab like, grab the other Frogadier, and then like Super Rod with the Greninja and Frogadier's back, I guess. That seems fine. Well, actually, if he doesn't put another Pokemon down, we actually just win next turn. If we really wanted to, we could just double, double Gale Shirk and Water Drip this Snowy Bag. If we really want, we can do that. But we'll see. I mean, I kind of want him to keep staying, but, uh... Okay, it looks like we're good, so my opponent's gonna keep playing. 
Noivern's interesting. Now, ooh, yes, you were to two something. You might be playing Garb too. Garb kind of can be hard to deal with, but we'll see. He's playing Rainbow Energies and Darks, so it's not a Malamar deck, which is what I was expecting, but we'll see. Maybe he's playing Malamar, Noivern. All right, we're gonna see a Palpag getting back those two Cynthia's. Probably gonna see a Sycamore here. Yep, that was right. He's actually gonna lose a Noivern and an Enhanced Hammer. Two cards that I actually like seeing get discarded there. Um, especially the Enhanced Hammer. So he is playing Garb. Um, not only is Trash Lanch an issue because we play a lot of items, but Garboder, Garbotoxin shuts down a lot of my abilities, and that makes Greninja a lot harder to deal with. Okay, he's gonna pass. No energies went down. Oh, we drew an end. That's actually perfect. So now we have a supporter to play for next turn. So we'll get rid of both of these guys. Grab ourselves water duplicates. We'll get all our frog ears down this turn, which is what we need. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Probably just do 20 of the active, I guess. We will rod. Get back these two guys. Now, here's the problem. I feel my opponent's like 100% playing Parallel City. And I gotta watch out for that. So, we're just gonna water duplicates. I could end. But I'm gonna hold off. There's really no... We're not really in any rush right now. So, we get all our Frogadiers down. However, if he parallels me, I'm gonna be a little sad. Because we can't put any more Pokemon down. But we'll see what happens. He is playing Crushing Hammers in his list. Okay, good that got Tails. Because we do kind of discard energy to get our deck to do stuff. Because we have to do, like, Giant Water Shuriken. So, I'm glad. We do have a Rod, but again, we just used it. I was considering, like, Energy Retrieval in this deck also, just for Greninja Break. But Energy Retrieval just turned out to be kind of useless, I found. Like, I didn't really need it, so I was like, we're not going to need Energy Retrieval. So, whatever. I'm just going to put a Dark on, so we're going to get um, Distorted next turn. We'll see what he does, actually. I'm curious to see if he retreats or not. He's probably going to. It's obviously a smart play. No, it's not. He's actually going to stay in the active. Alright. Um, now, here's the problem. We end him, but if we whiff Greninja, which we did, I kind of figured that's one of the issues you suffer with this deck, is not hitting your Greninjas when you need them. That, yeah, that happens quite a bit, I find. So, you know what? Maybe Evo Soda's good in here. Maybe you can try to fit in like two Evo Sodas or like split the ball and the timer ball and the Evo Soda. So I kind of knew we were going to whiff. And that really sucks because we, we really need to get damage on this guy. He's actually going to hit me with a Distort it looks like. Like we, if we got Shadow Stitching we would have been able to get into Break and Play. Things would have been golden. He's also going to get Garbotoxin down it looks like. Which could make this a little bit harder to deal with. This kind of sucks. That, yep, there it is. Okay, we do have our field blowers. How many items have we even played? Just two. I might have to just Sycamore here. As much as I don't want to, I don't know if I have a choice. Because we have... I don't know. We have, like, a decent hand, but... My only issue is, is, like... If I whiff Greninja, we'll get knocked out. Plus... Sonic Volume is actually really bad. Because then I can't play DCE. So we, we might have to just play aggressive with Shadow Stitch in here. That is the worst possible draw. I'm just going to end him again. That was the worst possible draw we could have gotten. Um, there's Latios. There's our other Greninja, which is good. Unfortunately, he's probably going to knock me out, so I can't really use this Greninja break. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll Moonlight Slash him. Not quite knocking him out, but we can put decent damage on him. 110 damage, so he's got 6 HP. However, we don't have Giant Water Shuriken. However, we didn't have Garbotoxin and... If he, like, doesn't ha somehow does not have energy here, we're good. However, we probably can knock him out next turn anyways. We are going to have to give up Guzmas, which kind of sucks. But again, we've only played, like, two items, so... Oh, so he's actually just going to distort me. This is perfect. Now, what do we draw? Another energy. That's good. I might actually sit on the hand. Let's do this. Oh, I can't do my abilities right, so maybe I, I think I have to just Sycamore here, right? I guess we have to. We're going to have to lose two of our Guzmas, both of them. And no Greninjas, once again, I am sorely disappointed. Storch still does knock me out, neither does Trash, so I can honestly just knock him out with Shadow Stitching. He might Team Skullgrunt me, just... Might have I, I doubt he'll team Skullgrunt me, but 
On the off chance we get Team Skull Grunted, I'll knock him out. And if I have any Fuel Blowers prized, now would be a good time to get them. Actually, we can't play them. No. Okay. We'll see what he goes in with here. Again, Distort doesn't knock me out. Trash Lanch isn't doing much damage to me. Maybe I should have kept the energy on, so if he doesn't do Sonic Volume, I do get that extra turn to put DC on. But I guarantee you he's not expecting me to be playing. Ooh, end of four. Ooh, I should have. Maybe I should have kept it. But again, he has Crushing Hammers. He probably plays Flare Gun. I feel like we're not going to draw very well here. Okay, that's fine. We got Greninja. Still no Field Blowers. We really need Field Blower here. There's Crushing Hammer number one. Good, he got Tails. Let's play two so far. Oh, he's actually just going to pass, so he's straight up with the energy. That is huge. So we're going to play Timer Ball. And alright, yes, we finally got rewarded double heads. Now, it kind of sucks that I'm wasting 60 damage here, but you know what? I'm fine with that. I actually don't mind that too much, because we are just going to straight up set up our board state a little bit. And it is looking gorgeous. And I'm actually going to just sit on the hand, and we are going to Moonlight Slash... And I'm going to keep the water energy on. This way he has more energy he has to deal with. So I don't even think we're getting knocked out next turn. 60. Well, if he does do Field Blower, I guess he knocks out Greninja with Trash Lanch. But I'm fine with just hitting him here for 60. Because then if he does another Crushing Hammer, he has to choose which Greninja is more important. Greninja DX or the Greninja Break in the active that's putting on a lot of pressure. Okay, there's the Noibat. Which, oh, he doesn't even play Destructive Sound Noibat. Wow. Um, ooh, is that all of his Guzmas? No, he's okay, discarded two. I thought he got rid of three there, but my eyes deceived me. So he's going to retreat, so he did get the Distort off, which I'm fine with. We can always really just retreat into the other Greninja here. We can maybe just A slash him, if we can find DC off of Cynthia. We do see an Ultra Ball Gamer of Enhanced Hammer. That is another good card to see get discarded, as that is one less card we have to worry about. This matchup is still tricky, like, it's still a bit of an uphill battle to win. We do have a lot going for us. If we ever get a chance to get our abilities back, we could jam Water Shirk in this and then finish it off with Breakthrough. So we have ways we can win. Um, we drew a Brooklyn Hill. I am going to play that. I doubt he's playing Enhanced Hammer. And I am, or, delinquent. So Cynthia, there's the DCE, and that's what I was looking for. We also got a Splash Energy, which is actually pretty dirty. And I... I'm going to risk it. He's obviously going to distort me again, so I'm just going to do this. We're just going to keep the Splash Energy on, and if he doesn't get rid of it, which he's played so many of his supporters at this point, I don't even think he'd get rid well, He might get rid of it, but if the Splash Energy doesn't get discarded, rip my opponent is basically what I'm trying to say. Cynthia, that's not good. I was hoping he would have a dead hand there, so he wouldn't be able to find any way to get rid of that Splash Energy. But if that stays on... We're in a really good spot. No field blowers still, though, which is weird. The fact that we haven't found a field blower yet is a little awkward, but it's fine. Do we we don't have any Guzmas, so rip. I was maybe thinking just break through the guards now. This guy needs to get knocked out, though, so... We do find field blower. This is the giant water shuriken target of choice. Or the other Noibat. There's lots of ways we can win. Just without Guzma, it might be hard to go through these Garbodors. Alright, so he's going to play the Rainbow Energy. Let's see what he does. Sonic Volume. I see. So he's going to avoid the Greninja, but we put the Water Energy back, and we are doing 80 damage on the dot, so we are going to KO him here. The only weird thing is it kind of clunks our hand a little bit, but not really. Um, this is just the beauty. The beauty of Greninja. We could just put all this back down, and we can do Wally again. If we want, we can put the second Greninja Break in play, which I don't mind. Um, I'm actually not going to play the Floatstone, and I'm just going to Moonlight Slash KO this guy for 80 damage. If he didn't actually play that uh, Rainbow Energy down, this would not have happened. And I mean, just look at our board state right now. This is a pretty insane board setup. We have two Greninja Breaks in play, Greninja GX in play... This is, this is how this deck works, and if this deck works like this, you have insane power over your opponent. Just saying, this deck can be very, very, very insane. However, it's not over yet. Thankfully, though, we still have yet to play that many items. He's only doing 80 damage right now. 
until he finds a field blower. His damage output with Trash Lanch is not that much. And he's got seven cards up. He is running low on cards. And we have a lot of tanky Pokemon in play. So we could see a big win for us. Oh. Okay, end of two. End of twos are going to get a little scary. If I don't find any good cards I need, this could be bad. DC works too. We can actually just Shadowy Hunter snipe the Garbodors if we want. He might, if he does whiff energy, which could happen, he's going to super odd. I mean, I only played like, what, four energies? So he's probably got an energy, but if he doesn't have energy here, I will gladly retreat and snipe the Garbodor. Okay, so he's going to play the Rainbow Energy on, which puts more damage on him. And he will attack me with Trash Lunch for 80, so still two shotting me. Now here's the thing, do I want to bring out Greninja in the active? And I think I do. He hasn't played a Lele. No, he has. Only one, though. Do I want to just snipe you and get you knocked out? Because we can always maybe draw into the other Greninja GX and then we just win next turn. Or we can just knock him out casually with Hades Slash. Yeah, that seems like a better play. I totally forgot he played the Rainbow Energy. These Rainbow Energies are really hurting my opponent. They're actually helping the math out a lot in our favor. They're literally giving us just enough damage to take him out. There's Field Blower. This is looking good. If he does Enhanced Hammer or Crushing Hammer, he might be able to stall me for a bit, depending on what I draw. But again, we haven't really played too many. Like, we still have a few supporters left and quite a bit of energy. End of one. Okay, I should have figured that. There's an energy, so that's beautiful. There's Noiver number two, or number three. But I think we can win this game, and I think I'm just honestly going to wrap up the video at this game. Like, this was a really good game, and we just showed off the power of this Greninja Duel deck. And, yep, that is game. We'll hit my opponent with a well play, because all we have to do is just Shadowy Hunter, that Garbodor. And that is game, folks, with the Dual Greninja deck. We showed off, like, every element of the deck. We used Greninja Break, we used Greninja GX2, we beat a Buzzwill deck, even though it's kind of lucky, because he kind of... I guess misclicked and we end off the video with the Guardians Rising Pack. This video might be a little bit shorter, but again, I'm fine with that. This deck, I actually have, I like a lot. I like this deck a lot. I think this deck does have some decent potential to be a cool Greninja deck. You know, Greninja right now, it's like, what do you want to play it with? Do you want to play it with Latios? Do you want to play it with Galissapod? Do you want to play it with like just scoop ups? But this build is like, you, you split the two in the middle and you pull a pretty terrible pack. We got a really bad Oricorio. We got a Stretcher and a beautiful 19th Soto Widow. Yes, as you can see, guys, I have 51 Forbidden Light packs. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at the deck one more time here and um, kind of just recap a bit. Now, I honestly think this Latios can go. Like, I didn't use it that much. I thought I would use this guy a little bit more, but it just turns out this guy just isn't needed in this deck. I don't know, like, the other Greninja decks that you see are playing Latios. Latios is a pretty cool tech right now. Some decks are even just putting Latios in, period. We didn't use it that much, so maybe we don't need Latios, per se. Maybe Latios is, like, just one of the cards you can just take out of this deck and just throw in something else, or just remove it for, like, an Oranguru. Again, guys, I still stress that I feel like we... I, I still wish I had Oranguru in here. Um... Maybe through throw in more draw supporters. I mean, we have four ends, three Cynthia's, two Sycamores. Maybe, like, another draw supporter wouldn't be bad. Maybe, like, a third, a fourth Cynthia. Maybe, like, something like a Lily wouldn't be bad either. Kikui, maybe? Like, Kikui is weird. Um, but I could see, like, maybe, like, Professor Kikui work in this deck just so you can, like, do 20 more damage. Kikui could be good. I do like the idea of also playing Lily in this deck also for draw support. By the way, guys, stock up on your Fuller Lilies and Fuller Hollows. Well, you still can, because post rotation they're going to go up in price. But I don't know, man. I, I really like this deck quite a bit. I, I think it's a decent deck. I think the only thing really missing is maybe more draw supporters. Maybe like a draw support Pokemon. Again, I think the Timer Ball could be taken out. But there was a point in the game where we did hit, like, double heads. So like, eh, maybe Timer Ball is not so bad. But I do like this deck quite a bit. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave, like, don't forget to subscribe to Home Road to 3K subs. We are very close to 2,800 subs. At the time of me recording this, I think we're 18 subscribers off. We're getting really close. So if you have not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Kappa. So I'll see you guys in another PCGO video. Peace out. Have a good day.